Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. September is almost here and Coronation Street is stepping it up. My latest batch of spoiler photos prove this. Next week, the ITV soap opera will be delivering dramatic peaks for several major stories. Amy Barlow is suing the Institute. And Lean Battersby, Jane Danson, is keen to resolve the matter and persuades Amy to abandon her lawsuit preparations. Later, after he gets summoned to reception, she meets with Rowan Cumliffe and they browse through his laptop. She discovers, much to her dismay, a file called Nick and Toya. To be precise, what has she discovered? Is the major affair between Nick Tilsley and Toya Battersby about to come to light in another scene? General Winter visits the apartment with Joseph and the Quads, who are prepared for their first day of school, much to the delight of Paul Foreman. Peter Ash, Billy Mayhew snaps some sentimental group photos of them all to commemorate the event. Later on, Paul goes over a list of things he wants Billy to do after he's gone. As Dee Dee Bailey, Chenique Sterling Brown, learns that Joel Deering, Callum Lill, once worked for a company that specialized in assisting young people in need, the pressure is on for Joel. Will Dee Dee obtain the knowledge required to permanently remove Joel from power? Actress Sarah Khan of Coronation Street has provided an update on her pregnancy. As he got ready to give birth to her first kid, she disclosed to her fans that she had been having a strange symptom. Sarah is excitedly getting ready for their new arrival with her partner, Nathan Chilton. Sarah has been taking care of herself. She posted on Instagram that she was enjoying a warm bath by Cannibalite with her followers. I appreciate the natural products from at Balmans underscore skincare, she said. They have a beautiful scent. She continued, saying, This bath and body oil felt incredibly comforting. I've been getting quite itchy skin on my chest, a bizarre pregnancy symptom I wasn't anticipating. In a subsequent post, Sarah gave us a glimpse of baby clothes stacked on a chair. The soon-to-be mother wrote, Not sure why it's called nesting, making fun of the fact that it sounds like a different way to describe housework and included a laughing crying emoji. The popular ITV soap opera star Sarah, who portrays Alia Nazir, admitted in December that she experienced a real mix of emotions upon announcing her pregnancy. The soon-to-be mother added, We know it's okay to keep hope and pray for peace while acknowledging that we feel blessed and grateful. With everything that is happening in the world, it didn't feel like the right time to share. We had a difficult year together because of Nathan's pelvic chondroblastoma surgery last year. It's been a long road to recovery, and there are still many obstacles ahead, as we deal with the tumor spreading to his lungs, she continued. Although there will always be obstacles in life, Life can also be challenging and full of valuable lessons and gifts to be treasured. We can't wait for baby Chilton to arrive in the spring of 2024. The Manchester Evening News writes, Sarah hasn't posted anything on social media since, but he has provided some updates. She shared a video of herself and Nathan settling into their new house in January, referring to it as the biggest project of our lives. The pictures were taken during Sarah's baby shower party last month, which she attended with family and friends, including Tisha Mary, her former co-worker on Corey. She began the day by posting a picture of her gorgeous pearl detailed earrings on Instagram, along with a bow and the caption, a day to remember, replete with emojis for a white heart and a baby. Then while traveling to the party location, she posted a selfie to which she wrote, Mama's on the way, looking bright and happy. There was also a welcoming sign at the location that read, Sarah's baby shower, along with the date, March 24, and balloons that were silver and cream in color. And other photos showed Sarah looking lovingly down at her bump while she looked stunning in a figure of hugging. 
long sleeve dress with a high neck and sparkling details. She said that Nathan was with her for this momentous event as they enjoyed a huge cake adorned with the words, we can barely wait. Adding a baby emoji and writing, we can barely wait to meet you. Sarah shared the photo on her Instagram story. The iconic Lisa George of Corey has spoken out about her scary exit from the ITV soap opera following a dramatic 13-year run as Beth Tinker. Before getting married to Kirk Sutherland and coping with the heartbreaking loss of her niece, Sinead, Beth first set foot on the cobblestones in 2011 when she strolled in with her son, Craig, for a snack at the bistro. Unbelievably, Lisa appeared as an anonymous nurse on the street for her first job back in 1997. In 2005, she returned to television as a family liaison officer, appearing in five episodes before cementing her position as a Weederfield regular. In an interview with Cyan Welby and Craig Doyle on This Morning, Lisa revealed details about her impending departure, which will surprise fans on Friday. August 30, she said, prepare to say goodbye to the well-known set. I'm going to sit and watch it with a friend from theater school who's coming over. However, it is a little frightening, the Express writes. With excitement in her voice, Welby exclaimed, I'm excited to see what you do next. Lisa revealed that she had already secured a new job so as not to leave anyone in the dark. She joked, yeah, let's see. I'm thrilled to be performing in the Panto at Christmas. At Swindon's Wyvern Theater, it's Cinderella. As the fairy godmother, that is. I'm excited to play the role of fairy godmother once more, having done so many years ago at Oldham. I have performed in Cinderella. My very first Panto was alongside ITB Granada, roofing reporter Paul Crone in 1997. With excitement, she declared, I'm very excited to go back and do panto. Since joining Corey, Lisa has not taken on any other TV roles, though in 2005, she did make an appearance in a single episode of rival soap opera Emmerdale as Pauline Arkwright. She has also appeared in television adaptations of Jacqueline Wilson's book, The Illustrated Mother and Holby City. Lisa has made appearances in Stanton Blues, City Central, and Casualty over her very career. Her disclosure about a terrible health fight that could cause blindness coincided with her exit from the serial opera. She has a disorder called NAIN, or non arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, which can result in an abrupt loss of vision in one eye. This followed an event in 2016 when she was gardening and was struck in the right eye by a hefty knot of rope, partially blinding her there. Her left eye's eyesight started to deteriorate in 2022, and doctors regretfully told her that she would never be able to see completely again in that eye. Unfortunately, the issue has left her unable to drive and forced her employer to expand her scripts. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.